In this video, I'm exploring the Jira dashboard. I'm using the data generated by my Kanban teams and sharing some of my ideas related to how to make best use of the data you generate while using the Jira. Many times when I talk to people, they are using Jira to create issues and probably track the closer of it. But many few teams I, I see making some insightful analysis of the data which they have because of their way of working out of Jira. So here we are exploring what possible dashboards you can create, which can help you in generating insight and help the team member as well as the leaders to improve their processes. So let's quickly look into some of the elements from Jira. So I'm sharing my screen. Let's see the dashboard. So I can go in the Jira and create a dashboard. That's the simplest thing. Now creating dashboard and clicking the dashboard button is the easiest thing, but I need to think what I want to show or what I want to analyze in order to make my day-to-day -day decision. And the information needed for a team member will be different than the information needed for a team leader. The information needed on a daily basis, which can help us in taking some, some daily actions, might differ from the information we need on a trend basis, on a weekly basis. So we need to first clarify the goal of the dashboard. So for example, I start thinking, I want to create a dashboard for my team so that they can look at it on a daily basis, which can help them in identifying what is going on in the team and what probably they need to do, an individual need to do so that they can figure out uh, or, or improve their best use of their time. You know, they can make best use of their time. So that is my goal. So I can say, okay, I am creating a daily team member dashboard here. That's something I want to do. Uh, probably I'm keeping the description separate. Viewers, so this is a little technical thing. Who can view this dashboard? By default, it's private. If I want to give it a group or to the whole organization, I need to click here and then add so that this whole organization gets rights for it. And editor, I'm keeping it as a, as a private. So this comes and it is simple blank, uh, something which is configurable. So here you see the gadgets. So gadgets are, you can say, the, the tools or things which you can add to dashboard. Uh, you can add some filter queries, you can add some special type of graphs, you can add some kind of activity stream. So some set of gadgets are provided directly as a default, depending upon which Jira license you have. And you can add some add-ons also by buying some more gadgets. I personally believe in a beginning, you should make best use of the gadgets which are available to you. Simple query results itself is good provided people start using it. Over a period of time, when you have more need, you can think of extending and getting into some add-ons. So the actual gadget which you will add depends upon the type of data you generate, the type of uses you have. For example, I may want to see the pending task but somebody may want to see the tasks which are approaching, approaching due date. My team may not be using due date field very extensively, but other teams might be using due dates very extensively. So depending upon what do we do, are we using priorities well, what kind of data we create, we need to create those kind of queries and results. So here I'm taking generic example, but you need to focus on specific. The another thing is these dashboards are not final. You can keep changing them. Uh, you need to take a feedback. So every retrospective is a good event where we can explore how our daily team dashboard is helping us in making better decisions. If it is not helping us, provided uh, pro uh, probably we need to do something about it. So one of the things which I by default assume is an activity stream. So activity streams tells you some information which is happening in your team, whatever comment, uh, updates, movement of various issues happening, you get a stream of it. So in a team, I want to know what is happening and that's a good idea. All team members having some insight about which tasks are moving there. So that's a good thing one can add. There is a facility of configuring it as well. You can uh, filter out some of the activity uh, 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 activities you want to probably uh, exclude from here. So those things you can uh, 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 probably search and, and understand as you want to. So you can understand which project you want to focus on. You can add more filters to it and type of uh, say 
um, activities you want to see and then they can say that there are some various types of activity like comment issue closed issue created etc etc so you can find out sometime uh, if i am doing a lot of activities here i may only want to say that whenever new issue gets started whenever the new issue get commented whenever the issue move from one stage to another stage that should be feeded into activity list so the whole team can see it i may want to make a, a dashboard which may have an activity stream coming from multiple projects i may want to have it only from one project so all these configurations are possible and that can help us in having a, a nice stream of information so it's like a open conversation which is uh, like an ongoing conversation which is happening and uh, i may want to keep my team updated about it so that's a good a probable ga a, a gadget you may want to use it for keeping your team members informed the other possible gadget is that uh, issue assigned to me so this is something a basic basic thing i want to know uh, for everyone so you can say my if i search i can search here also assigned to me is is a simple thing which tells me that what are the issues which are assigned to a person who is logged in me means the person who is logged in uh, i can choose what all fields i want to see here in the table uh, i can also choose how many rows i want to see in the particular table and uh, uh, after that probably uh, uh, i can uh, i can also see the order of it uh, uh, based on that the row numbers are coming here and i can i'm just going with the default but this is also another interesting uh, widget you can see it so if i just see these two activity stream will give me the activities and this uh, 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 the issue assigned to me gives me the assigned data i can probably configure the activity stream so that i get only few uh, things rather than here so it looks like the edit is not let me save for a while and say done and then probably click edit then these things will start working so this is like an activity stream and uh, issue uh, assigned to me so these are two which probably will work in all the cases the other thing any search result any filter query result so you can say uh, filter uh, so you can have a filter results you can put a query and those results can come you can also have a filter counts some specific counts but usually these counts are more useful for level up uh, for a for a one person maybe if, if the individual is working on many things you may want to show few counts you can use filter count as an option as well so gadgets you can keep exploring there could be a pie chart as well there could be some set of filters as well uh, there could be issue statistics as well so you can say that issue statistics you probably want to add that and uh, you can say that what all you want to see i, I probably want to see that created by uh, who all have created the issues which i have and probably i want to put a filter that issues which are assigned to me yeah so filter is the another important thing if you don't put a right filter then we are again confused about the whole uh, a dashboard so here i have put the filter the issues which are assigned to me i am seeing seeing the statistics where i am putting a creator as a important thing and the total number of issues which are uh, there so this can help me in seeing a kind of a summary statistics like these are the issues which are open with me who are created by these people so as a to my engineers i want to make sure that they keep eye on it if you have a priorities working then you can work on the priorities if you have priorities or or focus coming based on who has created it you probably can use this uh, 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 gadget as well not to create too many boxes here three four is is more than enough uh but uh, depending upon how much information your team member can process that kind of things you can add here so such kind of uh, uh, possible things you can have a watched issues also the issues which i am watching yeah uh, watched issues like i might have uh, participated in those issues before and i may want to see them yeah so that could be another current user show the issues which are watched by the current user is also a nice uh, possible addition which you can do uh, in your uh, dashboard because I might be interested in what is happening to the issues where I am some type way or indirectly or directly involved. And I can put the layout the way I want. There are some configuration options about the layout. I can go for like a two table, three columns, or maybe a one left side, uh, smaller one, uh, and the right side bigger one, or a vice versa, or I can go for one column as well. So this is like a basic, basic dashboard, which I can create here. I am taking an example for a team member who may want to 
see their day-to-day -day activities which is happening in their project environment. Now, if I go for a manager, then I will use more summary level information, some trend level information like uh, graphs and the trend of uh, aging, average age, uh, uh, who uh, who is working on what I may want to see the overall team status rather than focusing on myself and those kind of graphs I can generate for my level up dashboard. I can quickly show which I have created for my team so we can have a two dimensional filter statistics, we can have some filter counts, we can have average time in a given status depending upon what kind of statuses you are using. You can show created versus uh, like uh, created issues chart, which shows which issues are created and, and still not resolved or already resolved. We may have a, a, a things like a, a time chart for all unresolved issues. So we can add things. Again, these are all examples, which helps your manager to know what is working and where the intervention is needed. So in my understanding, the dashboard is too much dependent on what you want to make from it. The tool provides you ability to configure and see, uh, keep them as minimal as possible, which are good enough to generate some insights and keep changing them. Yeah. Retrospect on it on a, in your retrospective meeting and improve them so that you can make maximum out of data you have and improve your ways of working.